You was walking around this party like you don't know what happens when the sun goes down and the moon comes up. The blunts go round, everybody getting drunk all night. You know we put it down, put it down all night. Hey, we go fuck around, fuck around all What's night. What's good, you two? Never day two, you're back again on. Once again, today, people, today we're for episode number 71 of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. Deep into the post game, well, I shouldn't say deep into the post game, just starting the post game in the last episode's hour of power. We joined the International Police Task Force to hunt down Ultra Beast, and today we're gonna go catch ourselves in the hell ago, goddammit. So, if you guys are hyped for today's episode, and of course, if you're a proud member of the Happy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us, because you already know your supporters gonna appreciate it. And of course, you know, can't nobody let's play a motherfucking game like the motherfucking Nappy Nation can. Let's get a quick recap of the squad, really quick, like, especially since we didn't have one in the last episode. We have Frankie. The king of the squad holding that water MZ. Our child's all grown up with Skull, Moonblast, Ice Beam, and Psychic. Zion, our big steel button, the big emergency steel button with the Army of the Coin because he loves making that fucking money. Level 60 with Sun Steel Strikes and Headbutt Crunch and Iron Head. Delilah, our Mudsdale. Yes, I'm got Mudsdale and Mudsbray mixed up. Delilah, our Mudsdale, level 61 with high horsepower, rock tomb, superpower, and earthquake holding the soft sand. She's got the squad in her back. Yolanda, the queen of the squad, our Serena, level 60 holding the miracle seed, which works against acrobatics, but works for drop kick and magically, as well as high jump kick. We have Dorado, our Komo'o. You know what? I want to leave with Dorado. I need Dorado out front. He needs to get some more love because he keeps getting sent out just to get blown back, but that's all right. Dorado, our Komo'o, holding the scope lens to get them crits, rock and dragon claw, brick break, poison jab, and Dragon Dance. And last but not least, we have Cactus Jack, our second child. We have two kids during this Let's Play. Cactus Jack is our second child, level 60. Uh, our Toxapex, I should say. Uh, holding the Poison Bar with Liquidation, Poison poison Jab, Baneful Bunker, and Toxic. So let's go ahead and get Komo'o. Let's get Dorado up front. He needs a little, a little more loving. He's the only one that hasn't broken level 60 yet. He needs a little more loving, goddammit. So, we were told last time that over on Akala Island... We still have other areas of Pony Island we need to explore. But over on Akala Island, apparently, that's Melee Melee. Uh, in Diglett's Tunnel and Whala Mountain Park, Nihiligo has been spotted. So we're going to go to Whala Mountain Park and see what the fuck is up. Because Diglett's Tunnel is meh. Meh. No, it's Diglett's Cave. No, it's Diglett's Tunnel. It's, it's Cave. Diglett's Cave in this game. Diglett's Tunnel is in Kanto. So apparently... Oh shit, the music is lit. So do I just... Swag, so we just walk into the grass and boom! It's special defense, Rose Shark. It's special defense is already fucking sky high, damn it. Mm. So you just walk in the grass and just encounter it. Just like that. Let's do the damn thing. Uh, so I don't want to kill it. I know this thing. I think this thing is like poison ground or some shit like that. Ah. Uh, but I know that it's like. I'm going to throw a beast ball. So why not? Why not? Beast ball. Beast ball, nigga. Beast ball. Go. But I know it's, it's defense and it's attack are like super low. I know it's special defense. Special attack are super high though. So is this going to be like catching legendaries where... Every single one is like. Never mind. That was easy as fucking tits. <laughs> that was easy as fucking tits. I was gonna say, is, is it gonna be like everyone's gonna be difficult as shit to capture? Cause that's gonna suck. And Heligo's data has been added to the Pokédex. Oh, Ultra Beast start registering the Pokédex apparently. Uh huh. Alright. One of the several mysterious Ultra Beasts. It's rock poison, not ground poison. People on the street report observing these identified by it suddenly becoming violent. What do we what do we nickname this Nihiligo? Do they have genders? They don't have genders. I'm gonna I'm gonna name it Lily. Can we get the other keyboard back? Thank you. That's how you spell Lily, right? L I L L I E? I don't I don't fucking it looks weird to me. But it could just be the font. Lily? I think that's I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. Alright, so we caught the Heligo. Swag. You successfully completed the mission, report it to Looker. Bro! 
I'm not trying to get into any more fucking battles. <gasps> it's a magby. No! Not this again! Not this again! Last time I was fucking here, and we went through all of this. We, we never got away from it. It was like... It was torture! That was 50 episodes ago. Do you guys realize that? That was 50 episodes ago. Bro. Because I'm pretty sure that was episode 20's Hour of Power. Because we fought Lana, and then we did an episode, and then we fought, whatchamacallit, like two episodes later or some shit. Bro. That's wild. Alright, looker dog. Looker dog. Actually, wait. Can we go to Diglett's Cave? Because they said they were spotted in two different areas. So why would they give you two different areas if you can't catch it more than once? Can we get more than one Ultra Beast? Because I know there's been a lot of talk, because I always thought the Ultra Beasts were like classified as like legendary Pokemon. So is this one of those things where you can get more than one? Can we? I guess not. Fuck it. Back to Route 8 we go. Back to Route 8 we go. Because all I know is... PK sent me his Pheromosa when he was sending me his Moon Pokemon. And he's like, yeah, I got more than one. And I'm like, you have more than one? And he's like, yeah, but I don't want to spoil it for you. So, apparently you can get more than one of the Ultra Beasts somehow. But I figured, fuck it. I, I guess if it's spoiler worthy, then I'll just keep playing and figure out on my own. Friggity frick, fruck, friggity fruck it. Why not? There's only one Charizard in all the Alola region, and they are putting that nigga to use. They're <laughs> putting that nigga to work. <laughs> putting that nigga to work! Okay, hold on, let me check out. Let me check out uh, our friend here. It's serious nature, nice and neutral. Mm. It even has Pokemon natures and everything. I think they're just Pokemon from a, a, an alternate dimension. An alternate world, you know? Not so much that they should be classified as something entirely different. So, like, Ultra Beasts are kind of like pseudo legendary Pokemon. That makes sense? Like, they're grouped as being similar to each other, but they're still just Pokemon. So, does that mean that from here on out, we're gonna have some way to catch Ultra Beasts, like in Gen 8? I finished the mission. Amazing! Bravo! You have done it! I must call the chief back at once! Now you do that, buddy. You do that. You do that, buddy. You do that, do that, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Do that, nigga. Do, do that, nigga. Yeah. I finished sending the data from the UBU Protected to HQ and to Miss Wiki as well. Thank you for your hard work, Nappy. With this development, I think we'll be able to solve the myster mysteries surrounding the Heligo. Well, regardless of all that, congratulations are in order, young Nat B. I, the Great Looker, think I shall provide a great feast to celebrate your success and your addition to our team. There are some rather tasty restaurants here on this island after all. Oh, but how would you know that, Mr. Looker? We have only just arrived in Alola. My suspicions were correct. Oh, I read about them in a magazine they had at the local Pokemon Center. Duh, duh, don't you worry yourself about the details. I'll go and ask if they don't do delivery. Never looked to no good. My goodness, that Mr. Looker. Oh yes, there was one other thing I wanted to tell you. The original plan was that the UBU caught would be collected by the international police. However, we have been able to secure official permission for you to keep it, Nappy. It was a bit of a hassle to get all the details ironed out, but... If we take the UB to headquarters, it would be end it would end up as a research subject. I expect it will be much happier staying with you, Nappy. Fucking swag. Oh, this thing is this is gonna happen for every single one? Mr. Looker, yes, what is it this time? In English, if you please. I'm sorry, it's just a habit of mine, but never mind that, we have a disaster. I got a tip about a new UB sighting. This time the sighting was on Melee Melee Island. I'm sorry, but we had to put off our feast. I understand. Let us hurry to Melee Melee Island at once. Yes, ma'am! I will go ahead to Melee Melee Island and set up a new base of operations at the motel there. Please join us as soon as you're ready, Nappy. 
We make for melee melee. We make for melee melee at once. We're trusting in you, Nappy. Don't forget the melee melee motel is on route two. Bro. <laughs> if we go and catch a new ultra beast, who am I gonna put in the thumbnail? <laughs> We've already had in the hell ago one thumbnail, so whatever Ultra Beast this is, is about to be slapped up there. Slapped up there. It's on Route 2. Look at this. We're on Route fucking 2. Wait, what was that on the screen? Am I seeing things? I guess it's just I guess I never noticed there's tentacles flying across the screen. Alright then. Swag, fucking swag. Uh where's the motel at? Oh, it's way down here. Alright, let's get the fuck up out. Or this young goose can come and attack us. That works too. Or it's a Makuita. Fuck me! Suck me! Fuck me! Look at my boy Dorado. I'm so proud of him. So proud of him, even though he gets blown back. <laughs> I put him in the worst situations. It's still fine. I'm still proud of him. I don't give a fuck. He's still my growing young boy. He's still my growing young boy. Get us the fuck up out, my dude. Yaga, 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 yaga. <laughs> Can't go that way. So there's a motel on every island, but which McClaw? Wait, what is this I spy? With my little eye. Hmm, strange creature got sucked up into the cube. Heller. Heller! <sighs> Thank you for joining us, Nappy. Mr. Luca has already set out to gather more information about the UB. I've been waiting here on standby. I expect we'll have another visitor soon. A visitor? A mysterious person who claims to have some knowledge of the UB. He insisted that he would not share any more details with me until we met in person. But if he does have any real insight into the UB, then we cannot let this opportunity pass us by. So I think it's best if you and I wait to take any further action now, and that we trust Mr. Looker to handle the field work. Though I do feel bad asking him to do all the work for us. I don't. Fuck that nigga. I must applaud Mr. Looker for that remarkable energy of his. He is in a class of his own, even within the elite members of the International Police. I would have never expected someone like him to serve under my command. Yeah, we trying to fuck on this bit? Oh, it's my nigga Nanu! He can watch. Come on. Uh, we're all soldiers now. Don't mind if I let myself in. Y you, you are? My nigga Nanu. He's on Melee Melee. How have you been doing? You're well. M Mr. Nanu. My, it really has been a long time. But why in the world are you... I'm your contact. You want to know more about that monster, right? Monster? So you were the one who reached out to us. Uh, we're all... <laughs> I had to keep redoing the voice. We're all soldiers now. I forgot about this code we were all supposed to go to. Oh, no! That's how I ended up stuck as the messenger. And here you are, boy. You're acquainted with Nappy. Oh, you're acquainted with Nappy. Guess you could say that. And do you have some information for us about the UB that has been sighted on the island? Uh, it's not like I've seen it or anything. Just heard rumors, you know. Yeah, 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 yes. So then, could I trouble you to tell us what it is that you do know? What was it you guys are calling it? Absorption or something? Well, you'll find it in Melee Melee Meadow. Not just one of them either. Two of the suckers. That's how we get more than one. Absorption, the relationship between two. That's how PK had more than one because that's moon exclusive. Bro! So we can catch two of them. Wait, wait, just a moment. How do you know our code, our, our, our code names? That is highly classified information. Hmm. <laughs> no one wants to hear about that. Good luck. Bro? Mr. Nanu was in fact a superior of mine when I first joined the International Police. I never dreamed that I would meet him once again under circumstances such as these. 
But the information they share with us is, it, it, but if the information that he shared with us is correct, then there are multiple UBs this time. The situation is dangerous. If we don't act at once, this nigga again. M Mr. Looker, in English, if you would. I'm sorry, but please, there is no time to care about my odd habits. The UB sightings, I've gotten a hot tip. The perp right really is right here in Melee Melee. It appears that it might be UB absorption. It seems to be a UB of great strength and formidable muscles. But that is not all. It is not one creature, but two. In Melee Melee Mando. Bro, you are... So it appears that the information was correct. Huh, what's that? Did you just say something just now? She, she's standing right in front of you. Jesus Christ. No, it's nothing. I understand, Mr. Looker. Then, Mr. Looker, Mr. Nappy, it looks like we have a job to do. My task could be to protect the populated areas. Nappy, you will go to where the sightings was reported. Mr. Looker, you are to stay here next to our backup once again in case we should need it. Hold it right there! Not again! This time I insist that I... Silence. Please understand, Mr. Looker. You do not have a partner Pokemon with you. I cannot allow you to operate in a place where you are likely to encounter danger. And besides that, having such an experienced veteran as yourself serve as our backup is a vital task in an operation like this one. Understand? Understood, ma'am. Swag, nigga. Nigga, 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 nigga. Then I must be off. Nappy, I wish you fortune in battle. Good luck out there, Chief. You take these, Nappy. I received them from Madam Wookie. So we get 10 every time. That's dope. I'll take that. I was wondering, they gave us 10 and I was like... So that's 10 million dollars in a Pokeball. I trust that you will be careful out there, my young Nappy. And one last thing before you go. Madam Wiki finished analyzing all the data that we gather on the Heligo, aka UV Simeon. If you wish to learn more about the creature, you should speak with Madam Wiki in the Aether Paradise Secret Labs. Now it's time to get to work, and I'm here if you need to ask me anything. Bro, bro. Okay, so these episodes are kind of sort of staggered a bit in the sense that like we start the mission in Like the episode like we start the mission and then actually do the mission the next episode So we're gonna we're gonna, what we're gonna do this shit again. This thing's gonna run out of us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna catch this UB and Then we're gonna speak to wiki and end the episode and then at the start of the next episode we will turn in this mission and start the next one. So we do one mission per episode. And it's not us like scatterbrain because it's just messing with me right now. It's messing with me right now. I'm telling you, it's messing with me. And it's driving me insane in the membrane. And I don't like that. If I'm being honest with you guys, I don't fucking like it. 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 No. I don't fucking like it. I don't fucking like it. No. Alright, my boy. Excuse me, young goose. Excuse me. You're in the way. And I will brick break you if need be. I will break your fucking back, my dude. Alright, so oh, swerve. That's not melee melee meadow. Melee melee meadow's way over here. I should've just flown to it. Should've just flown to it. Should've just flown to it. Yeah, God. Should've just flown to it. Oh, this is it. Should've 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 just Oh shit, here we go. Yo, let's ride on the champ so we can intimidate him. That's not the right music. We can encounter regular Pokemon here. Caterpie, what the fuck? My dude, what are you doing? <sighs> Nigga, if you don't... If you don't... Nigga, what? I don't understand. We The first time we encountered... Do we have to be in a certain area? Is that what's going on here? Do we have to be in a certain area? Alright, let's do this. Let's see. Let's run from this cutie fly. We don't need to for your body by it. It's quite effective on us. Bro! I took two steps. It's chasing us. It's chasing us. We get it. You're the newest typing. You want to be important. Go away. 
Shoo shoo. Shoo shoo. So I'm guessing maybe we need to be in a certain area? There we go. So there's two of them. We need to catch two. My nigga! My nigga! He's actually really fucking dope. I like him a lot more than Faramosa. Because that, she looks like a cockroach. I can't get with it. He's a mosquito. I don't like mosquitoes either, but at least I like, like, his design's cool. Her, she's just... Okay, so I'm pretty sure he's bug fighting, so I think he's level 65? Holy shit! Fuck me up, fam! I went for a move, because doesn't bug versus fighting? Because I was like, oh, I don't want to fucking destroy him. That was a crit. Alrighty then. We're getting blown away. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speedy ghost for right now. Can you miss this hammer arm, my dude? Dynamic punch, that works too. Okay, so I'm actually gonna attack him now, especially since he's got the defense increase. Jesus. Lunge? What the fuck is lunge? I just hit this nigga with our strongest move. I'm gonna go to Delilah. I hit that nigga with our strongest move and it did nothing. <laughs> this nigga is hench as fuck. Counter? My boy carries counter? I'm on high horsepower. Doesn't bug resist ground as well? Bro. I kind of want to rock tomb him, but I'm afraid like, oh, you're going to get a crit and just blow through him. This nigga is just chilling here in the flowers. <laughs> Bro! We are getting fisted! No pun intended. This nigga is destroying us. He broke through, good shit. That does nothing. Bro, that does nothing. Come get this full restore, Delilah. Cure that confusion. <laughs> oh my god! We're getting destroyed. So do they give you the chance to catch two of them so that you can trade one? Is that what this is? I'm gonna rock to him. He's got increased defense and our attack has been dropped. And it's not stab either. I'm gonna rock to him. It's super effective. We need to do a bit more damage. Oh my god. Oh, it's not super effective because he's part fighting. Fuck. Bro, this nigga is too strong. He is too fucking strong. Can you relax? I'm gonna heal only because another dynamic punch is gonna blow us the fuck away. Bro, this nigga's level 65. He's higher than anything on our team. That lowers your attack every time. That's obnoxious. That's really obnoxious. We're doing nothing to- oh my god. What is our attack at now? Like, minus three? Um... I'm gonna go out to Dorado. Don't hit me with a lunge again. Go for counter. Go for counter, my boy. Hammer on. Jesus Christ. This nigga is too fucking strong. Come on, he's blown back. I told you, I play way too risky with him. I just let that nigga go out and just do anything. Beast boost? His attack! WHAT?! Bro, we're about to get fucking bodied. We are about to get fucking bodied. This thing is gonna run through our entire team. He's got an attack boost. I mean, at least we resist now. Everything is physical. Everything but Frankie's physical on our team. I'm just gonna work at him with this liquidation, because we resist that. Oh my god. Oh, that's resisted and it still does almost half. That's insane. That's insane. Take him to the red. <laughs> Fuck!
So does that still... You lo it said you lost sight of it, but the hint of it is still lingering. So we can still catch two no matter what. So I pretty much have to go through all of that all over again. In order to catch them. Essentially, right? Between regular encounters as well. So I can still catch two, right? Because I want both of them. I'm willing to go through that for both of them. But I want to get at least one here now. Here and now! Bro, why do I encounter anything but the fucking... Why am I encountering anything but the Ultra Beast? What the fuck? It's a waste of time. Add up all these seconds that these battle intros end up using. Where the hell does big boy go? There we go. There we go. So if it gets knocked out, you just lose sight of it, right? Right? I'll turn my game off. I'll go catch the Heligo all over again. And I'll turn my game off and do whatever the fuck is needed. So I can get both of them. Bro, turn one. I'm dragon dancing. Go for counter. Go for counter. Oh, that works too, as long as we dodge it. That's all I give a shit about. But we ain't playing no fucking games right now. I'm taking this nigga's HP down. I'm taking this nigga's HP down. Because I know Buzzwool, I look at the stats of the Ultra Beast, and I know both of them, I mean, Buzzwool, his highest stat is attack and defense. It's both like 139. His defense is way too fucking high. Look at Pokemon Refresh coming through in the fucking clutch. His defense is way too fucking high. He's like a jacked up Tyrantrum. That's two Dragon Dances. That's, that's Stab with two Dragon Dances. That's fucking insane. It's not even resisted or anything. There goes our attack. Right back down. That goes down one. Come on now. It's gonna do like 15% if that. Counter? Oh, it's good thing you lowered our attack then. Bro doggulous. We're just gonna YOLO with, with Dorado. Take it to the red, take it to the red. Yes! And he's about to get blown away. <laughs> Why do I do this to him? I'm sorry, my boy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, my boy. Oh, uh, see, this would have been a problem if Cactus Jack could just control himself. God damn it. God damn it. So I kind of want to use Liquidation, but I'm going to throw a Beast Ball and see what happens. That's the wrong fucking pocket. <laughs> I'm gonna toss a beast ball because we got 19 of them. He's in the red. I know just barely. He's in the red. Stay in that ball, my boy. Bro! Oh my god. You are way too fucking strong, my dude. You're way too fucking strong. What is Buzzwool's base speed? I know it can't be all that if all his points go into his attack and defense. Yeah! That nigga's base speed is 79. That's actually, well, considering how many stats go into his attack, it's not terrible. It's not the best of speeds, but, I mean, that's a good choice, Garfer. Slap a choice, Garfer, on the nigga. He is punching holes. He is punching holes, my dude. Bro. This nigga is Alex Luis. <laughs> this nigga is Alex Luis. This Ultra Beast appeared from another world. It shows off its body, but whether that display is a boast or threat remains unclear. Jesus. No, we're not gonna name him Alex Luis. We're gonna name this nigga. Brock Lesnar! That nigga is Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Send to a goddamn box. Giggity fucking goddamn. Okay. Still one more beast to catch. Okay, so we can still catch another one. 
hot. Fucking damn. Let's max revive this nigga again. I mean, that was a decent strategy. I'll rock out with that. I can rock out with that. All right, let's find this other. Let's find this other nigga and make it make it make light work of him yet again. Make light work of him yet again. We need to be as lucky as we were just now and dodge a shit ton of stuff. But let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do here. Wait, I want to go over here. That's what I was headed for because it's a big patch. Bro, you're driving me crazy right now. Cottonies and cutifies and caterpies. Everything starts with a fucking C. I'm just trying to get a goddamn Ultra Beast. And you're being an Ultra Dick. An Ultra Bitch. Essentially. Leave me alone, goddammit. Bro. 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 Bro, I'm going to give it three more encounters, and I'm just going to catch this nigga off screen. I'm telling you that right now. I ain't going to sit here for another 15 minutes going around running into Caterpies. There we go. See? Again, this is the game hurt me. It picked it up to the mic. There's two of them. That's wild. They had to have done that just so you could trade one to Moon. For the Pheromosa, because Pheromosa is moon exclusive, but as well as sun exclusive. And I think there's two other Ultra Beasts that are exclusive to each version as well. Alright, we're gonna go for the same strategy. Dorado, I need you to dodge these. Alright. Never mind. Never mind. Right off the bat, that went down the drain. There you go, use that Dragon Dance. I'm gonna full restore and heal you up, my dude. I got you, big dog. We're gonna, we're gonna pull through. Please don't lunge me, turn two. Please don't lunge me, turn two. Please don't lunge me, turn two. It defeats the purpose. Please don't lunge me, turn two. There we go. Good shit. Good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit. Rodogulus. Hit that dragon dance. Yeah. Hit that dragon dance. Yeah. Alright, now dodge whatever move this is. Or not. Bop. Hammer arm. Jesus fucking Christ. It does so much damage. Oh my god. We can live another hammer arm. I don't think we'll live a dynamic punch though. And he lands it. Oh my god. We lived it. Well. Full restore it is. Full restore it is. We're good. We're good, Dorado. We're good. I got you right now, my boy. This nigga, it's, it's not even just his level. His fucking stats are too damn high. This nigga hits like a fucking truck. It's insane. Dodge this move. Dodge this move. Dodge it. I know by me keep healing, like, I'm just asking. I'm just asking to get hit with a lunge or a crit. And even then, everyone's like, oh, it's technically not Pokemon. They have Pokemon moves. It's like a nose dynamic punch. Lunge, there it is. Bro. Bro. Plus, well, why do you have to be so... Oh! That was a great, good shit, Dorado. Good shit. Good shit. Okay, so we're back to normal. We're back to the plus one. So a brick break, a brick break should take him to the red. Take it to the red! Yeah, yeah! Alright. So I'm gonna toss a beast ball. He's in the red. It's our third time <laughs> encountering this fucking buzz hole. Buzzful was caught. I will take it. 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 Ha! 
Buzzfold a dick. Jesus. You don't have to be like that, Buzzfold. You choose to be like that. Uh. I'm gonna name this nigga Testosterone. Did I spell it right? I have no idea if I spelled that right. That was one of those things where I was literally sounding it out in my head as I did it. Testosterone. I have no clue. If that's wrong, I wouldn't be surprised. But fuck it, we named him that. You successfully completed the mission, report it to Looker. Well, step one, you about to get the fuck up out of this stupid ass field, pissing me off. I want to heal our minds and check out our, uh, our buzz swoles. Our buzz swoles. Zzz. Wait, it, it didn't register in the Pokedex just now, did it? I don't think it did. I don't think it did. I want to check and see. I did. Hasty and mild. Terrible natures. But it's alright. We're here. We're here. And we're gonna make the most of it. We're gonna make the most of it. But he's got counter, hammer arm, lunge, and dynamic punch. Like we didn't know that already. But shit, goddamn. That's worth it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Anyways, obviously we are way over our normal time limit. We're gonna go ahead and wrap up the episode here. In the next episode, we'll start off by turning in the mission. Or maybe we'll start off by going to talk to Wiki and find out more about Nihiligo. Then we'll turn the mission and do the next mission in that episode. And kind of reset everything the way it should be. That hour power threw us off because we started the mission then, finished the next episode, yada yada yada. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of Sun and Moon, and of course we are proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, you know can't nobody let's play a game like the motherfucking nappy nation can until next time you guys thank you all so much for supporting thank you for checking the video we out this bitch bye